we use this to, it's like a little cream to moisturize the hair, just like you guys. <laughs> you know, At the, the Westminster Dog Show, where looks are everything, getting a contestant ready requires hours of careful grooming. It's very important what they do, <laughs> how they behave, how they walk, how beautiful they look. And of course, you know, a healthy dog is a, a happy dog. So. Hundreds of dogs strutted their stuff at the two-day event, which ended Tuesday at Madison Square Garden. But before they could shine in the spotlight for a glorious few moments, they had to go through an intense beauty regimen. Michael Kemp knows what it takes to groom a champion. He had a dog win Best in Show almost 20 years ago. He says Chewy probably doesn't have a shot at the top prize, but it's important that he look as handsome as he can. This is a breed that uh, doesn't get uh, the recognition of some of the other carriers. Every inch of Chewy's body must look perfect. After all, anything the judges can see is up for scrutiny. Easy, easy. Elsewhere, other dogs are also getting haircuts. This one's getting a special style called the lion cut. I'm getting a little massage. A little <laughs> this dog is called the commandor and has hair that naturally looks like dreadlocks. Unfortunately for him, he's still got a seven hour wait before his competition. We have eight of them at home. Um, some of them are younger than these, and, uh, but they're all in our house, and uh, we just love the breed. <laughs> right now, we're just getting him ready so he can go to, to the potty. It takes a long time to bathe him, so we can't take the chance on letting him get dirty. Not until he's done showing. Outside on the floor, contestants and their handlers are nervous and excited to finally show their work. This English Springer Spaniel has cloth wrapped around its ears to make sure its hair dries straight. But despite all the hours of careful preparation, sometimes dogs will be dogs. I'm going to walk in that ring and she's going to go... 